morning and welcome back to Pos Pop 2. I have Kay Risho here with me, the owner of Soul Art School. Hi, nice to see hey. you. And I Good am so you. excited that you have an art school, um, art camp for the summer. Boy, we're excited over here too. Um, I did a few summer camps here last summer and I've been teaching some of these kids that from the summer all the way over to think I've had them already a year. It's kind of crazy. And um, anyway, so they asked me to do after school art. We do that too. But the summer camps, um, they want to do what they did last summer. And we've been talking a lot about it. So I had a lot of little advisors telling me, do this, do that. So. <laughs> and then I had a chance to look at some of the pictures and what they were having a whole lot of fun and then the one picture the one kid like he did the um you know the painting the photograph kind of painting what do you call that you artist what do y'all call that stuff well mixed media art um yeah. because we do everything like i mean we do regular drawing we do yeah. pastels we do painting with watercolor we do painting with acrylic we do collage, we do jelly print transfers, we do resin, we do, I mean, I could just go on and on. We paint on tea bags. Um, we you do, paint on, wait, wait, you paint on tea bags. We paint on tea bags. I have a big love in my heart for painting on tea bags. And I don't really even know how that started, but I like to repurpose a lot of stuff that people would just throw out. Yeah. And make something really cool out of it. And it's cheap. It's easy for the kids to not feel intimidated because they can find a lot of this stuff at their house when they're not even over here. That's true. Okay. So we have a lot of ground to cover here. So there are three options with the camp. And like I said earlier, um, if you have this, if your child has the strength and the willpower, <laughs> They can take on all three, but I can yeah. almost guarantee you they will enjoy themselves. Okay, so that's which one you want to start with, Kay? Well, I'll start with the Everything Art Camp because okay. um, that's my morning camp, and that kind of encompasses everything. Um, and really, all the camps are geared for 7 to 14 years of age, any skill level. Um, I have 25 years of nursing background. I'm used to triaging. So... I have my tables full with no more than 10 kids at each camp and we're working on a project like let's say for instance we're working on this toucan which you'll see in one of my flyers. Mm -hmm. I will walk them through how to do this in the Everything Art Camp. It's a 10 to 12 two hour class and at the end they'll have something you know that they can hang on to and bring home. Some kids may work on this and be finished the first day. Some kids, it may take them all week. Doesn't really matter because we'll be working on other mixed media projects um, and other arts activities in here while the camp's going on. So they'll be plenty busy. All right. Um, and, and that starts May 29th, I believe. And pretty much all the camps start around that time and right. the length of the summer. They're all pretty basically one week of classes for two hours. And that's the fee that you pay. And the Everything Art class is $200 for the week. All the materials are included. Mm -hmm. um, and then we move on to the clay class where I have that in the afternoon. We did a little bit of clay uh, last summer in here. Here's B, my little here. service dog um, that I made in here. So, you know, we take things like aluminum. <laughs> aluminum foil and newspaper and wire and we build a form with our hands i teach them how to use these things you would throw away or find outside and we build the clay around it and then we come back and we add the finishing touches okay. we make some people don't want to make animals they want to make you know a cute heart we do that we do collage on top um some girls come in here and they see this big girl that I do did here. And, and they want I, one. They want to do something like I this. Want or, one. Go ahead. or they want or they want to make earrings. Or you know, because you can make clay earrings. Um, I had some girls do that last summer and I helped them do that. So we have the clay camp in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Some kids came last year, they did the morning camp. 
And then in the afternoon, they stayed on and did clay. So we just have a little lunch or whatever, and then we move on to doing the clay in the afternoons. Basically, clay's the whole afternoon of the summer um, as the afternoon summer camps. But we also have an option to do resin. And I don't know if your camera that's can come nice. up. I, yeah, that's picking up. The sheen. But yeah. see these little bottles and things like this and toothpicks mm -hmm. and fabrics and little pieces of little, I don't know, glittery things and rocks and yeah. buttons. They can paint and then they can make a cute little thing out of resin. This is so easy. You know, the clay or the resin in the afternoon, super fun. Um, I would take all three but i mean i love i do this stuff all day long in here so yeah, it's, it's one of those things once you get started you can f time flies on you now some of them you might be able to double up on right any of the dates like these classes all three of those so we have the clay we have the resin and we have the summer art everything yes yes so some of so, them might double up to where they can stay huh right right okay. right right so everything's included. I just tell them bring a snack and a water bottle. Um, and if kids are going to be staying over, I mean, I'm not really like set up to be a daycare yeah. situation, you know, so we do have that two hour gap in there after the morning camp is finished. If they want to go get lunch, you know, come back. They okay. can. Um, but, you know, what's kind of cool is that a lot of these kids made some really lasting friendships last year. I have 11 of them right now and they actually hang out together. So um, they'll come back and they'll yeah. be like, Miss Kay, can we just help you do this? Or can we just hang out here and visit a little bit? And they'll just yeah. talk off to themselves, you know, and get their yeah. things ready uh -huh. the next go around. It's 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 neat how how you see that they find their spot, their tribe. OK, so how is it you must pre-register? And so yes. are they doing this by way of your Gmail, by the Gmail? Yeah, they okay. can do Venmo. Venmo to pre-register. They can, um, because soulartschools.com, if they look me up on Venmo, they can pre-register that way. And my soulartschools um, at gmail.com email address um, is where I need to communicate with the parents back and forth to send them a registration form. Okay. So without the without the payment and without the registration form, I can't hold a spot open. So you need a book now. Lafayette is famous for going to Florida during the summer and spots won't hold, especially with 10 per class. So for me to have that form in hand and that payment, then I can set your side aside a spot specifically for your child at the date and time of your choosing. Yeah. And it looks like all of them must pre-register. One is by the 20th and the other two are by the 25th of May. Yeah. I, think, what you I think we're going to just make it the 25th. We're going to just for extend the whole thing to the 25th to make it easy for everyone. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, Kay, what I'm going to do is I put up the um, your Gmail and then they okay. can Gmail you or email you, however they call it. And okay. then you can provide them with that additional information, like the Venmo, or they can do it this way or that way. And that might be easier for them, at least when we put it up on the screen for them to right. see. Okay. And my cell phone number, if you want to put it up there, I'm yeah. telling you, I am a one-stop shop, old school kind of person. I love talking to my parents and answering any questions or concerns. So don't feel like you can only communicate through Gmail. My cell phone, the 337-296-3573 number, I'm pretty much available until 10 o'clock every night. Um, you know, I'll try to respond. And if not, the following morning, if you have a question. All right, Kay Risho, talking about the summer art camp taking place at the um, at her Soul Art School. And that's located on Auburn Avenue in Lafayette. Where is that oh. nearby? So we're so easy to find. Everyone okay. knows where Sonic on Pinhook is. Yeah. And Abacus, which are two places that everybody in Lafayette eats <laughs> at. Okay. Our street runs right between the two okay. of those restaurants. You can check out any information you want about me. I'm on the Louisiana Craft Guild's website, as well as my own website, krishu.com, 
or go directly to soulartschools.com. We have an interactive calendar, which we're updating. We're in the process of putting all these camps and everything on there. So if you don't see everything right now, um, it's a bit of an undertaking to do for the whole summer, okay. but that, that's right. this week. Okay. I, I, I do want to get me and Kay, we can go on and on. <laughs> So I want to say congratulations to you. Um, when Thank you. you sp spoke about the guild, you received a recognition. If I'm if I'm I'm saying that right, or uh, yeah, go ahead, tell. Well, I'll be um, fifteen seconds. <laughs> okay, the Louisiana Crafts Guild is um, a group of professional craftsmen and artisans within the state of Louisiana. And um, I was juried in as a professional in painting and in mixed media. Um, and hopefully soon to be for our Kate's Legacy Products, which is a whole different business inside a soul art school. But that happened this week. And I'm very, very, very honored that I have that recognition. Um, and I'm ready to paint with anybody who walks through the doors. I don't teach only children. I do teach adults too. So I do encourage looking at that interactive calendar for what we have to offer here at the school. Okay, well-deserved. Congratulations Thank on that. Stay Thank with you. Us. We'll be right back. 